and put you on a path to becoming a millionaire in about 10 years, right? That's about how long it would take you to become a millionaire if you were to do this 10 times over, right? 25, 30 grand a year, some crap like that. 21 years old, managing a freaking radio shack. How many radio shacks they got out there? Tyler, how old are you? 23. You're 23. Have you ever been in a radio shack? I have. I've been oh, in one. One radio shack? You want some asshole like me getting more rich? Or do you want to funnel that money back into yourself and create your own net worth via house hacking? Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to you giving it to you straight. Want to talk to you guys about a little bit of house hacking, y'all. House hacking, man. House hacking is a great way to make money, and I happen to have a property that would be perfect for house hackers. It is a duplex in Garfield Heights, y'all. 4657 Blythen Road, okay? Coming to you at 139.9, right? Here's the deal, y'all. You gotta have a roof over your head, okay? We all understand that that's fairly obvious right you got to have a roof over your head and if you have a roof over your head you got to pay a mortgage now here's the real question though right because it's not up for debate you need a roof over your head and you're going to need to pay off a mortgage right what is up for debate is whose mortgage should it be should it be your mortgage or some rich landlord's mortgage like mine right you want some asshole like me getting more rich or do you want to funnel that money back into yourself and create your own net worth via house hacking. I did it. When I was 21 years old, I bought my first property, ended up doing a house hack, and it worked out pretty good for me, right? You could do the same, okay? You could pay some guy like me you could pay off their mortgage and increase their net worth every month, or you can do the same for yourself, right? And here, you don't even really need to pay off your own mortgage. You're going to have a tenant pay off your own mortgage, guys. We got one vacant unit. It's totally ready to move in, totally turnkey. As you can see, it's really, really nice, right? And that unit itself would rent for eight seventy five dollars on the open market. So if you live there for one year, you could actually then move out and then bring two tenants in there and be bringing home seventeen fifty dollars a month, right? But if you live there for at least one year, folks, you don't have to put down 25%. This $140,000 property, 25%, what would that be? 25, carry the one, blah, 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 30. That'd be like 35 Gs, right? If you bought this as a real estate investor, which by the way, it would make great, great sense for normal out-of-state investors or turnkey investors. If y'all want to buy it too, that'd be cool. We'll take your money as long as it's green. Uh, but I'm really specifically talking to those house hackers today though, right? Because instead of putting down 35K, right? You guys got to put down 3.5%, right? So we're talking like $6,000, okay? Then you get a mortgage. You use your tenant's rent to pay off your mortgage. You live for free. You create your net worth. That, that is how you do it, right? Every single month, that tenant is increasing your net worth. That is the way to go, folks. If you're a young cat like I was when I bought my first house, you could be a millionaire in 10 years like I was. That is the route I took, and it worked out really, really good. Alternatively, instead of doing that, you could just simply spend eight seventy five dollars and pay off some other landlord's mortgage so he or she continues to get more rich, and you don't get dick in return. You could always try that. Or you could be smart and drop a $6,000 investment into this, live for free while your tenant pays off your mortgage, and then have some of that money that's paying off your mortgage go down to your principal pay down every single month and increase your net worth and put you on a path to becoming a millionaire in about 10 years, right? That's about how long it would take you to become a millionaire if you were to do this 10 times over, right? You do it, live there for a year, spend your six Gs, save up all your money you'd normally be spending on rent since your tenant's rent is paying down your housing expense because, again, you got to pay somebody's mortgage. The mortgage for the roof over the head gets paid by somebody, and in this case, it's going to be paid by the tenant. You take the savings, save up for the down payment on your next house, 
wait till you pass a year, move out, re-rent your unit for 875 and do the process over and over and over and over again. You can get 10 residential mortgages utilizing this plan, right? That is a great way for regular people not making a ton of money to create a lot of net worth. I myself was making like 30 grand a year, 25, 30 grand a year, some crap like that. 21 years old, managing a freaking Radio Shack. How many Radio Shacks they got out there? Tyler, how old are you? 23. You're 23. Have you ever fucking been in a Radio Shack? I have. I've been oh, in one. One Radio Shack? Where was it? It was the one on Snow right across the... Right oh, okay. The I know that Radio Shack. Snow Road in Parma? My guy Steve used to manage that. He was like an old timer. He was like 45 and I was a young kid, and uh, we went out and got real drunk one time because we used to have to do uh, inventory where all the Radio Shack managers in the district would go to one Radio Shack, and you'd count every fucking product in the store till like, 5 in the morning. And, uh, yeah, we met there, and we actually got – I think we got done kind of early that time, and we were only there till like, 11, so I think we went to a bar afterwards. And he told me a lot of – old-timey Radio Shack stories because that motherfucker had been a Radio Shack manager since, like, 1990. And everybody watching this video is like, what the fuck, dude? I'm trying to fucking house hack, and this guy is talking about goddamn Radio Shack for 20 minutes. Hey, Tyler's the young kid. He's been in one Radio Shack. I'm a little bit older than Tyler, okay? I'm 36, and you know what? I'm just giving you guys the story about how fucking unimportant and irrelevant working at some shit company like Radio Shack is. But... I was able to utilize the small amount of money from working at some garbage-ass failed company like Radio Shack and create millions, okay? You guys could do the same. So if you're sitting at home and you're watching this video and you're like, man, I fucking hate my job. It fucking sucks. My boss is a dick. My company blows and I don't got a lot of money. I'd like to be a real estate millionaire. Well, I just laid out the fucking plan for you, bro. It's only going to be a few thousand dollars living expenses free. You just got to make the move. If you want to make the move, send an email to my team, sales at holtonweiss.com. Include your pre-approval letter. If you don't have a lender, don't you worry, folks. I've been doing this a very long time. I have a whole list of lenders. I will get you my very own curated list of lenders as well as other referrals, handymen, uh, contractors, anything you need in the real estate space, attorneys, I have it for you. I've done over $200 million worth of business, guys. I've been doing this a very long time, so I will give you all of my contacts to help you get this deal done. Send that email to my team, sales at holtonweiss.com. If you need my list, I'll get you my list. If you want to make an offer on this particular property, I will field your offer. Or if you'd like to tour that vacant unit to make sure that it's somewhere you could see yourself living, you want to do that prior uh, to you actually pulling the trigger doing the deal, that's totally fine too. My team will get you in there as well. You hit us up before 5 p.m., we'll get you in there same day after 5 p.m. That's Miller time, baby, so you got to come back the next day. Sales at holtonweiss.com. Let's go. Right? Tall cabinets. Let me open this up first. What? What on earth? seen anything like that before. Quasi porn magazine down there. <laughs>
other end of the door. That's right, I'm not coming down here for the inspection. It's both hot water tanks right next to each other too. Yep. It's it easy. Hot water tank up. The electrical boxes are right here too. Yeah. Should, should pop those up before you that You want to hold the light? It's mm -mm. good. There's a light on that side. Pretty updated. Not bad. Two tree furnaces. Just <laughs> up one. Oh, yes, there are washer dryer hookups too. Yeah, that I did know in this one. Clearly labeled as well. And then these are just two canning rooms. I think they're going to be in here. It's the ash room. Yeah. And this one. Yeah, this is the one where they were talking about the foundation. Yeah. This guy. You can't really see him. A bunch of cracks. Alright. We out this dish. Good to glow. I need one of those and have one to crack my back real good. And back out to the real world. Yeah, I did the I walked around the garage. Are they... Is there a wall between these, do you know? There isn't, okay. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.